morning guys and girls. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a species which probably not a lot of guys have come into contact in terms of actual angling catching. Um, it's Oplygnathus robinsonia. Now, Robinsoni at least. They, it's an atoll knife jaw, also known as a cuckoo bass. Now they are endemic to South Africa. Um, you're getting them KZ, KZ all the way up to Mozambique. Um, it's a reef based species. They, they're not, as we said, not a, not a popular uh, port species, but it's a species that's often speared. It's actually one of the most important spearfishing species we get along our coast. Um, obviously called cuckoo bass, they, much like a cuckoo clock, how it pops in and out, you've got, if you hide away from him, he'll come and find you. They, they are very, very inquisitive fish, which is why they get speared for a lot. Um, they, they generally just pop out of nowhere, and if you hide away and pop out, they'll come and have a look for you, and you can nail them like that. Anyway, as we mentioned, endemic, so it's a species that we need to protect. Um, they are thought to be resident. Uh, like we said, they don't get caught a lot. So, in, in terms of, of line angling, so it's difficult to put a tag in a fish that's been speared because you're not going to get any data from that. So, the guys that are have caught them, there have been, I think, a few, maybe a handful of tagged fish. Um, but yeah, as I say, they're thought to be resident, um, which means they're going to stay in a single residing, a, a single area. Uh, they get to around about 3 kgs and a fish about 10 years old so they do grow fairly quickly um, total length is probably around about 60 centimeters there, there and thereabouts um, you are allowed to catch five per person per day but you they're not allowed to be targeted commercially so it's a it's a fish that only gets caught by the recreational anglers and like we said a very very rare rare catch on rotten line now this comes down to the scientific name, obviously having something to do with the mouth, nathus, nothing. Um, they, they've got quite a sharp little beak to them, almost like a parrotfish. Um, overall, I know we didn't cover this at the beginning of the video, apologies for that, but yeah, an overall blackish fish, very large tail, quite flattened, um, and then it's got this beak to it. Now, the beak is designed for scraping of the rocks. They, they feed mainly on anything that's going to encrust on the rocks, so anything that's going to grow onto the rocks like that itself. And then they go and they'll, they'll scrape that off. So, in terms of targeting, it's very difficult to put a bait that's going to resemble something that's encrusting. Um, most of them that are caught are going to be more on your chocker and prawn type of baits. So, a general, a general type of bait. Similar to a bronze bream, he will eat a prawn, but that's not his main, main food preference. So, they do generally scrape, um, that means they can cut through lines, so it's generally better to go with slightly heavier line. But yeah, the cuckoo bass is really more of a, of a species for, for spear fishing. Now, if you don't want to target them, you're going to be looking at anywhere around reef structure. So offshore, probably down to about 50 meters. Uh, they do go to deeper than that, but that's generally going to be where you're going to get them. And your your standard uh, offshore bottom fishing trace is going to work for them, probably around about a 3 0 hook. They've got a bit of a smaller mouth than their size uh, sort of relates. So the, the mouth is smaller than it would be. Um, and yeah, a nice sharp hook because of that hard mouth, you're going to really have to set it into there. So, yeah, the cuckoo bass, something that unless you're a spear fisherman, you probably haven't encountered yet. Um, but definitely one to put on the target list, one to tick off when you get there. And uh, yeah, a lovely species, an endemic species, something very important. So, the cuckoo bass, or otherwise known as the Natal Nafchal, something uh, very dear to us, something we need to keep uh, protected, and the species you need to have on your species list.